रिकॉर्डिंग सेव होती है ओके सर कॉपी ओके जी सो लास्ट टाइम वी वर डिस्कसिंग द एम्पियर्स लॉ सो नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर we we are discussing the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction simply what is the faraday's law faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so now you are familiar that when the current is flowing in the wire in this direction this current produces a magnetic field around the wire in the form of the concentric circle the thumb pointing the direction of the current and these third fingers indicates the direction of the magnetic field so as a result then the magnetic field is produced around the current carrying wire in the form of the concentric circles so this was explained by the ampere and we call it as a ampere's law so now here one important thing is that the current is producing a magnetic field so question is that is it possible that the magnetic field can produce a current so the answer is yes the magnetic field can produce a current the condition is that the magnetic field should change with respect to time it means the uniform magnetic field cannot produce the current cannot produce the emf in the wire or in the coil if the magnetic field or magnetic flux is changing with the time it means the rate of change of magnetic flux if passes through the coil it can produce the emf in the coil or emf in the wire and this law is explained by the faraday and we call it as a faraday law so the faraday states that the rate of change of magnetic flux can produce the emf in the coil so here here it is states that the rate of change of magnetic flux rate of change of magnetic flux can induce the emf 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 is electromotive force can induce the emf in the wire your oblique coil so it means for example let's say the emf in the coil is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux this phi is known as a magnetic flux this phi m is equal to the magnetic flux so now for example let's say if we have a coil like that this is the coil and this coil is connected to the voltmeter this is the voltmeter this voltmeter indicates the zero deflection because there is no any current in the coil 
so when there is no any current in the coil this shows the zero deflection so now if we say that this is the magnet this is the bar magnet which is its north pole and south pole the magnetic line of force passing through the coil is if we say that these are the magnetic line of force if these magnetic line of force is passing through the coil it can produce the emf in the coil so now this rate of change of flux if we say that this coil is at rest this magnet is at rest both are at rest it means the flux which passes through the coil is the uniform flux so it means if we say that the magnet and the coil both are at rest then the condition is that the uniform magnetic flux will pass through the coil so as a resultant this uniform magnetic flux will not produce the emf in the coil only the emf will produce in the coil if the flux is changing with the time so here if we say that if the magnetic flux if the magnet and the coil both are at rest at rest then the uniform magnetic field then the uniform magnetic field will pass through the coil will pass through the coil so as a result this will not produce the emf so the uniform magnetic flux this uniform magnetic flux or uniform magnetic field which passes through the coil it will not produce it will not this not produce emf in the coil emf ye produce nahi karega this uniform magnetic flux will not produce emf in the coil then now if we say that if this magnet is moved towards the coil or away from the coil in both cases the magnetic field passes through the coil will change with the time so as a result the rate of change of magnetic flux which passes through the coil can produce the emf in the coil so now if we say that if here if the magnet is moved if we move the magnet magnet towards or away from the coil or away from the coil in both cases in both cases the emf the in both cases the flux through the coil will change with the time time produced emf in the coil produce emf 
in the coil. So it means the rate of change of flux. So the change with the time, the flux change with the time will produce the EMF in the coil. So as a result, this needle will show the deflection. It means the EMF is produced in the coil. So this EMF is produced in the coil if we move the magnet towards or away from the coil with the velocity P, that's it. So here the magnet is moved towards the coil. So as a resultant, the EMF is produced in the coil. So now, question is that what is the direction of the induced current in the coil? So the direction of the induced current in the coil can be obtained by using this right hand technique, right hand rule technique. This is the right hand. The direction of this right hand, these four fingers of the right hand, the direction is indicate the rate of change of flux. So if the magnet is moved in this direction, so as a result, this four fingers indicates the direction of the motion of the magnet. This thumb indicates the direction of the current. So as a result, the current in the coil is in this direction, which shows that the direction is counterclockwise. So this is the direction of the motion of the magnet and this thumb pointing the direction of the current. So as a resultant, we can say that here, if we say that, this is the coil, The flux is changing in this direction due to this magnet. So as a result, and the motion is in this direction with a velocity V, the current will be produced in this direction. The thumb pointing the direction of the current. Similarly, it means this galvanometer or voltmeter shows the deflection, which is this from zero to this positive process. Similarly, if we say that this is the coil, if the magnet is moved away from, if the magnet is moved in this direction with the velocity v, again the flux will change through it. In both cases here, the flux is changing to the time, d phi over dt. Here is also a d phi over dt. But in this, in this case, the motion is in this direction. So as a result, as I discussed that, the direction of the right hand is now this. Because motion of the magnet is this. The flux is changing in this direction. So as a result, the direction of the current will be reversed. So the direction of the current is this. This thumb pointing the direction of the current. So now the current becomes a clockwise. So this EMF indicates in this direction less. This is the direction. In the first case, the direction of EMF is this. In the second case, the direction of the EMF is this. It is reversed. So now the EMF is equal to the d phi over dt. So now this proportionality is replaced by some constant factor. So we say that the EMF E is equal to minus n d phi over dt. This n is actually the number of turns. So now if we have a here single turn, so therefore, the value of n is equal to 1. 
if we have uh, so many turns, we say that this is the second turn, third, fourth, fifth, and there are so many turns of the coil. So as a resultant, the flux.